Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. In the last 24 hours, solar activity remained low. Notably, a C3 event was observed at 9.40 am, UTC, on the 3rd, from region 3450, maintaining its status as the largest and most active. Region 3452 also made a mark. A new player, Region 3456, swiftly emerged south of Region 3450. During the overnight analysis, a subtle Lasco signature was identified from the east limb around 6.24 p.m. UTC, on the 2nd, potentially linked to dimming south of Region 3450. Models hint at a potential glancing arrival between midday on the 6th through the 7th, but confidence is low due to source region uncertainty, and impacts are expected to be minor. Two new CMEs were spotted, one from the northwest limb at 10.24 am, UTC, on the 3rd and another from the northeast limb at 12.36 pm, UTC, on the 3rd. The earlier one is not Earth-directed, but the second, a wide eruption is under analysis. Solar activity is expected to remain low, with a chance for M-class flares on October 4th, 5th, and 6th. In the energetic particle realm, electrons greater than 2 mega electron volts peaked at 1297 Fu briefly, and protons maintained background levels. The electron flux is expected to stay normal to moderate, while proton flux remains nominal. Solar wind speed peaked at 487 km per second at 7.47 pm, UTC, on the 3rd, with a total IMF of 8 NT at 7.48 pm, UTC, on the 3rd. The max southward BZ component hit minus 6 NT at 11.38 am, UTC, on the 3rd. Solar wind signatures may reflect the influence of a near-equatorial, positive, coronal hole. Another, Negative, coronal hole in the southern hemisphere is not expected to be geoeffective. The geomagnetic field has been at quiet to unsettled levels for the past 24 hours, with unsettled to active conditions expected for the next three days. Conditions may trend towards active on October 6 if the CME described earlier brushes past Earth. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure through space weather news. Your support means the world to us, and we appreciate the many of you who have sent us your donations via the Super Thanks feature. If you want to further show your support and become an integral part of our journey, click on the Join button. By joining our YouTube channel, you'll have the opportunity to deepen your connection with us and help us continue delivering captivating updates and insightful analyses about our dynamic universe. Thank you for watching.